Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to take you along with me to shoot some street photography in the Arts District. The Arts District is pretty much this area of downtown LA that used to be only warehouses, uh, factories and stuff like that. It was kind of abandoned 20-25 years ago. And what happened is that they remodeled everything. They took all these brick buildings and all these factories and they made very fancy apartments and lofts and all this kind of stuff. And the whole area has a very industrial feel to it. And it's great for street photography. It also has a lot of maybe murals and, and, and cool art that's on the street. That's probably why it's also called the Arts District. And nowadays, all of those buildings are also like home to like a bunch of studios, photography studios. I remember back in the day, I, I actually shot a music video in my band in one of those buildings. What? That's another story for another video. But anyways, what I want to do today is take this camera, which is the Fujifilm X-T3, as well as the Fujifilm X-T4 that I'm filming on right now, and go on the streets of downtown LA and shoot some street photography, share that on the vlog with you, and hopefully you guys, you guys enjoy. And maybe also, if we're lucky, we can get a nice view of downtown LA tonight when the sun's gonna be setting right behind there, and uh, hopefully I can get one of that shot that I've been craving to get for a long, long time. All right, let's go explore the Arts District. to this area a lot because when we were dating Sam used to work in the neighborhood and I remember coming a lot of the times uh, just to be able to spend a little bit of time with her and we would walk around those streets on a weekly basis and uh, it's also one of our favorite neighborhoods it's so weird being yeah there's a lot of cool restaurants around here and a, a brewery that we used to go on dates and then we used to eat ramen right here at Menno mm, Menno ramen yeah yeah. Straw ice cream. Oh yeah. I mean all this stuff. There's also a place where I used to get my coffee and it was the first time in my life that I discovered blue bottle, blue bottle coffee. And, and it was I, with me? I love it. And it was with you and <laughs> we might just go there and uh, I might get myself a little coffee today. That sounds great. Or maybe a beer. I don't know. I we'll know. see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, lots of history uh, in our past here. So I'm glad that Sam's here with me today to accompany me. Yeah, you're here, Right there is salt and straw. I don't know if it's a thing somewhere else other than the US, but salt and straw is definitely some of the best, some of the best ice cream that I've ever tasted. And if you don't have that in your country and you come to America, you've got to try salt and straw. Which by the way, they have some uh, vegan options as well. So try it. So not much has changed in the last four years. Every business that I've known is still pretty much here. And this building right here, I remember, was being built at the time and now it's completely finished. Did it oh my God, oh my God. There's a coffee shop. 
What? Maybe we shouldn't go to Blue Bottle. Maybe we should have a coffee here. What do you think? It looks like the fanciest coffee shop I've ever seen in my entire life. out of luck. I wanted a flat white and I guess their steam one's not working, which is uh, kind of a, a shame for a coffee shop, but they have a batch that they had me taste in there and it tastes really, really smooth, really nice. Right now it's boiling hot though. Oh yeah, that's some serious coffee. There's one thing that the world don't understand is that, I mean Europe, Europe don't understand how pour over coffee, black coffee like this, is so good. They don't know how to appreciate that. They know how to appreciate an espresso shot, which is bitter and strong, and you don't even appreciate the drink because it's, it's a shot. You know, you don't savor it. This is the best way to have coffee. I keep, I keep telling them. I keep telling people in Europe, Americanos how to do it. By the way, this is much better, I think, than, um, than Blue Bottle, I think. I hope your tea's good because um, this is delicious. quick interlude right here to talk about this Pig Design Sling 3 liter bag that I got right before this trip. So it's pretty much the first time that I get to go out and explore town with a camera and uh, carry this little uh, sling bag. And uh, so far I love it. It has like little pouches here to put your extra batteries and stuff. And it's big enough that it fits a camera the size of the X-T3 or the X-T4 with like a regular lens. If the lens is really big, like of course, that might be a little tight on this bag, but if the lens is not too massive, look, it fits perfectly like that, even with the strap. And when we take the train, I'd rather not have like the camera out or hanging because you know you never know if someone wants to snatch it from you. But this little pouch is very, very nice and comfortable. It's also waterproof, it's very resistant, it looks very sleek. I love it. Yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know I got this and I love it. So when we came up, there was an entrance to the inside of this residence where the coffee shop was at. And we walked in and honestly, it's all modern concrete um, construction. And I think if you're looking to shoot some models, some fashion photography here in, in downtown LA, this place is really great because you have like, look at this, long lines, a lot of concrete. You have that tunnel right here with the light. I think this is really, really cool for uh, portrait shots and stuff like that. So yeah, just putting it out there. this bridge to have pictures of downtown Los Angeles behind with the, the bridge like giving you directions for your eye towards the downtown area with the sunset and it's been pretty hard because the whole time I've been shooting downtown the sun is always kind of like behind it which makes the, the buildings not appear very like clear on the photo but thankfully now the sun is setting on the other side of downtown towards the, the left which clears up the space and you can finally see the buildings and that golden light is really cool right now. And I think we got about 15 more minutes of this and then it's gonna be nighttime. So let's see if we can go either like a little further down on the bridge and capture pictures of downtown. And then uh, if not, we'll go back into the arts district. And then after that, we're gonna go get dinner. And tonight we're actually getting some ramen. So I'm very, very excited. 
we used to get ramen here in the neighborhood called Little Tokyo, which is supposed to be kind of like a, a little Japan town here in Los Angeles. And we're gonna go back for that. I'm super, super excited. I'm here to take a bullet Standing by your side I'll do anything for you Anytime So we're gonna get on the 6th Street Bridge which is right there, right behind me with the arches. That's a brand new bridge. Apparently it was built in the last couple of years. It lights up at night and you got pretty views of downtown LA right behind it. And now the sun has set. So I'm gonna change lenses because this is an F4. And in the back here, I have the 56 mm F1.2, which is gonna be great for photography at night or at least at blue hour when the lights are gonna come on downtown. So I'm very excited. Let's see what kind of shots we can get on the sixth bridge. We are now walking on the 6th Street Bridge and this is a beautiful architecture. The arches give so many opportunities for great shots and right now the sun has set so downtown is about to light up and quite honestly this is going to give us some really really good photos. I am so excited. And then you can also see older bridges down there on the side of the LA River. There's all the train tracks also like right down here a lot a lot of focal interest for photography so i'm very excited about this Alright you guys, the sun has definitely set, now the moon, I think tonight is a super moon or something like that, it's beautiful. What's going to happen now is that we're going to go out and eat some ramen in Little Tokyo which is over the bridge over there. So I'm done with all the photos today, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the Arts District. This area is so cool for photography but also like to go out and, and like enjoy yourself and go on dates, anything really. The Arts District has so much to offer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That way you can catch more videos like this because as long as I'm here in LA, which is gonna be for the next three weeks, I'm gonna keep shooting videos and I'm gonna keep going out and taking photos and taking you guys along. And I really hope you guys enjoy. And that's it for me today. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.